What up, world? It's Eternal Authenticity, broadcasting live. I'm out at the park. I'm honestly walking to another trail that's close by. It's actually a Lamborghini out here, right? I parked right in front of it. We're all lined up. But yeah, (laughs) I'm on my way walking to the trail. So I guess that's how you know what kind of neighborhood I'm worthy of living in, you know, that type of lifestyle. You know, I can have the best of both worlds. I'm worthy of the best of both worlds because I am the world, you know what I'm saying, for real. So anyways, I'm walking on this path, on this trail. It's coming up. It's further down. It's just they're doing construction. I hear them working like they have like the saws and the axe, just loud tools, you know, like I just love just to chill out at the park, honestly, like I'm cool with that. I would much rather just come out here and do that, honestly, because like I'm on the big things, like just by listening to myself with this stuff. But anyways, I'm doing a message about love life and whatnot. You know, like, I don't have it all figured out. I do have some experience, valid experience. And, hey, we only have this, you know, this is one take for this incarnation, you know. So, like, we might as well share and, you know, collaborate with others and open up and offer what has helped us. So that's what I'm doing. So anyways, like, yeah, I'm alone now. But I do have valid love experience so I can share and especially since, since I've gone vegan, like, you know, it's been amplified and a, a lot more sensitized and, you know, improved, honestly, but very real and very real at the same time. So it hasn't been all sunshine. It's just, man, I've been through stuff you really don't want to go through for real. And like, I guess that's why they say like the present moment is like so important because it's like, that's all that matters, honestly. Yeah, everything else is like a story. It's part of a story. I'm saying like the point is, is like when you can cross over and just fully surrender to it, the present, which I guess that's what true love is. And I guess that's why they say most people don't, you know, fully surrender on the levels of love. You know, there's multiple levels besides just, hey, you know, she's a she has a, a nice, you know, but, you know, what I'm saying maybe a stripper or whatever and you know same thing about guys like for y'all to say hey you know for girls just to only want a guy just for like his muscles or like his chains or something like that you know it's so much deeper than that but anyways like the full surrender like <laughs> the point I'm making is is that uh few people do that you know and I'm one of the few that is on the total surrender of love, you know, and this is honestly the road less traveled, to be real, as I'm walking on the road alone, I hear some people, some workers laughing in the background, this and that, and honestly, I don't even care, Um, I'm just saying, like, you know, it's the inward journey, like, when they say the greatest relationship we can have with ourselves, it's true, because, like, yeah, I've had stuff not work out, you know, recently, you know what I'm saying, and, like, part of it is, like, you're, like, wow, I know it's fake, I know not to give this so much heavy energy to this at all, you know, like, and you're, like, hey, you know what, it just makes sense, like, to focus on me, because, hey, if I'm still feeling hurt, if I'm still in feel pain, you know, if I still know I can heal, if I still know, you know, I got a long life to live, and, hey, I got to love myself, I don't need to be over here stressing myself out over someone who just doesn't want to be bothered, like, at all, <coughs> at all, no matter what. Excuse me, I haven't drank much water today, to be honest with y'all. Normally, I'm wearing, uh, I'm drinking a gallon a day, I always do, of alkaline water from Whole Foods, 45 cents for a refill. Yeah, I'm glad, I'm smart. I'm hitting the jackpot, for real, because, like, I always love to come out here, you know, and a lot of people, like, think that, you know, they may think it's weird, you know what I'm saying, or they'll, like, us get be fearful of, like, scenarios and stuff, you know, just because of so-called contrast and just limiting beliefs, honestly, but it's just a park, it's a trail, you know, I love the sunshine, I would much rather be out in the sun, honestly, 
and in nature. So, like, you know, I don't care what people, you know, all these people who call us weird, authentic squad, like, they're going to realize that we're actually the geniuses. Honestly, they're going to be asking for our help, for real. You know, they're probably going to be, like, crying and put on a whole act, you know, because they'll have finally understood, which I guess you can say is love or whatever you want to call it, on a deeper level. Yeah, though, like, you know, like, my point is, is I'm saying, like, for me, my experience, I'm like, hey, I don't know it all. And at the same time, I'm still worthy. I'm not going to be toyed around with, you know, because you have to realize, hey, this is my life. You know what I'm saying? I have to check in with me, you know, like my emotion, my internal feelings, my being, my success, my path that I'm going, my purpose, my authenticity, you know, and yeah, I am saying my, because it's true. It does start with ourselves first. Okay. I'm an Aries. I can say this because we are the, we lead the, the Zod- we're the head of the Zodiac. You know what I'm saying? So like we represent, I am is what they say. It was what is it's known for. It's, it's true too, you know? And like, I'm saying like, I am saying that we're supposed to like fully love ourselves so much. And I'm talking about like our, our mind, body, and soul, you know, to where if you know, you may be out of shape, overweight, you know, heavyweight, you know, just toxic within, you know, truly you aren't as, you know, happy with yourself as maybe as some of the people that you keep feeding into consuming their content or their TV or whatever, all the time you figure, Hey, you know, you can, all, you have a lot of levels to go and it's always levels throughout life, but you're just saying like, you know, to a real great level to where you can truly, truly say, Hey, you know, I'm real good here. And this is a great sturdy foundation block. And that's what us Aries are too known for. They said, we're like the rock, you know, things are built upon us. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, like, uh, point I'm making is, is like, it starts with ourselves. Like it's true when they say the greatest relationship starts with ourselves because me personally, I still know I'm always going to be healing and rebuilding and strengthening and taking care of my body for a long time, all of my life, you know, over a hundred years. So the point I'm doing now is like, I'm reversing all of my bad karma, you know, toxic, dead weight, negative karma that was going against my body, mind, and soul just from my nutrition, you know? So like now I'm reversing all of that. So that's a fun process. And, you know, eventually I'll really, 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 you know, attract a lot better things. Things will just continuously, like my whole life is going to continuously just be of me attracting great stuff over and over again you know, over and over again, because I'm like living a karma free life. And honestly, like, that's awesome. It's just so simple, you know, just to lose our ego, you know, because we get deep within who we truly are. And we notice these big lessons and big tests, we've, you know, accomplished it, we win it, you know what I'm saying? That's the point of life. Like, you got to do this for you, first and foremost. Yeah, it's about unity. Guess what? At the same time, you still got to make sure you are whole so you are embracing the right unity with the right squad or whatever, you know, and that's the point I'm making, okay? It starts with us first to be established, you know, to a, a certain level before we start doing, pursuing this or, you know, going, you know, dispersing our energy at stuff that isn't like being reciprocated or boosting us up or helping us or supporting us or loving us, you know, like we got to make sure that, Hey, we really in check. You know what I'm saying? doesn't mean we have to, you know, wait till we're like 50 or like super late or something and stall. It just means, Hey, continue to listen to your inner self. You know, Hey, I know who I, I know at the end of the day, there will come a point in time that I'm pushing for that I will really, really, really be proud and happy about how I've healed and improved internally, you know, and I will reflect externally, you know. So the point I'm making 
is that, you know, then you realize like nobody has power over you and that you won't get hurt in a relationship because you're like, hey, I'm only here on the planet to be with someone who will love me truly for me, for who I am. You know what I'm saying? They're not trying to change me. They're not trying to put me down. You know, they're not out here doing lustful stuff behind my back or something. Nah, I came here to be treated royally, you know, to someone who is there for me as a priority, who will like just sacrifice for me. And I will do all this in reciprocation, reciprocity, you know, and do the same for them. Someone who will give to me, devote all their time, you know, energy, everything to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, we are each other's priority, for real. Until, you know, for the long run. You know what I'm saying? So we super old. That type of stuff. You know? Like, and I would do the exact same for them. It's that simple. You know? It's commitment. It's like, you know, sticking with it. It's long run mindset. And like, you got to be real with yourself. And that's what I'm saying. Like, that's what I'm doing. For real. Like, yeah, it's great. We can have experiences. I've been in and out of relationships, you know, this and that. And like, you know, so yeah, sometimes it hurt. Yeah, it's so great when you're in it, but then you learn some things during it and it's ups and downs and that's part of life. But then like when you get in that period of time where you're alone again, you're like, dang. But then you deep down know there's still more work to do. You know, hey, you know, to breathe and to wake up and be like, hey, you know, I'm not here to stall or waste time, but at the same time, I still got a long life. So I need to focus on me and allow the right things to come into my life. You know what I'm saying? The more I work on me, the more and more it's going to, like, you know, connect with other energies out here. And we're, that's how connections get made. That's how you leave your trail, your story behind, like, in the right, truthful, loving way. You know what I'm saying? History. That's why they say history is written by the winners. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, it's not his story. I'm talking about like the champs, like the big dogs, you know, you know what I mean. Okay. Not all this, like, you know, (laughs) school history book type stuff. You know what I'm talking about? Like icons, phenoms, you know, authentic people, indigenous people, you know what I'm saying? For real. Not none of this matrix stuff. I'm talking about for real, for real. You know, that's why coming out to nature and stuff is the only thing that keeps us together because it shows us the truth. You know what I'm saying? Like for real, like, it takes for someone to go out into nature alone to understand this for real. Like, cause when you're always around people all the time, you don't know who they, tr- you don't know who you truly are because you'll be picking, you know, you'll be saying yes and no and all this stuff to everybody. And I'm no saint too. I'm no perfectionist. I'm, I'm just saying at least I'm vegan. I'm living a karma free life and I'm, you know, improving because sometimes like you become so desensitized. It's like, you're unconsciously saying things and agreeing with things and doing things that you know you don't want to do. You know that doesn't feel feel right with you. You know that isn't right for you. And you're just like, you know, desensitized. You're intoxicated. You know what I'm saying? And like, you're not the same anymore. You know, it's some real stuff. Like sometimes, yeah, I do. I laugh so much at myself and sometimes at life, you know. Because it's good to have a sense of humor. And at the same time, like, it's still, like, for real, though. Like, that's why the understanding of creation is what veganism helps people to fully have the highest enjoyment. You know, because that's sacred intimacy, you know, is when you're vulnerable, which is with your spouse, your partner. And that's love. And, like, achieving to where y'all are really, really, for real, in harmony, in tune, you know, and I'm talking about for real, because many people say they are, all on social media, likes, this and that, and like, buzzing around, this and that, but you know, deep down, what's up, like, you don't know everything, it's just like, you know, we all got stuff going on, you know, it's just, it varies in different ways, and you see, you're able to feel out the contrast in, you know, certain love scenarios without even knowing it. You know, you, that's part of us being empaths. We can kind of sense it. We don't know it all. I'm not saying I know it all. I'm just saying, like, we can be aware and mindful, just, you know, of different, you know, whatever. Non judgment, you know, it's just, you know, for real. We, we're sensitive. That's all I'm saying. And, like, it just helps out when you go vegan, for real, because you go, you get super sensitive and you finally are surrendering. You know what I mean? That's why 
I'm able to stand strong and tall because I'm I'm living my truth. You know what I'm saying? And like it's beneficial in the long run because I have surrendered. That's why I first start talking about it because like veganism honestly helps out with our mental health, mental and heart health and physical health, whatever you want to say, spirit, it's all connected, improves everything off the boards, off the charts, you know, because like you reset to like God mode, you know, if you know what I mean, you know what I'm saying, to the earth when it was a formless state, formless universe, you know what I'm saying, like where it was just nature, you know, before all this stuff going on now, you know what I'm talking about, like, that's what I'm representing, and like, that's how you have your power, your truth, you know, because it's liberating and it you declare your own peace. You know what I'm saying? That's what it does, honestly, so that I can speak on this because I've been in toxic relationships and the contrast is extreme. Like there sometimes is some great, magical, amazing, loving moments and memories and days that we help each other out. And then at the other times it can be really hard and just like very hard to be there. You know what I'm saying? It can go down. You know what I'm saying? For real. And like, you know, you realize, hey, love ain't, love ain't, you know, worth it to be fighting, to be honest. Because you're fighting, you're hurting each other. You know, when you're ignoring each other, when you aren't taking each other's interests into each other's best hand, into, you're not taking each other's feelings into consideration is what I'm saying. Something has to be going on. And that's what I've realized how to surrender and let go. Because like it it doesn't have to be all perfect, this and that. Everything handed on a silver platter. And at the same time, you know vibes. You know, and like the mentality is supposed to be both of y'all are uplifting each other, supporting each other. Like, you know, like it shouldn't be continuous tug of war, continuous like arguments and disagreements and conflicts, you know, it should be really uplifting, very healthy, you know, that's how it's supposed to be. I didn't say it always has to be perfect. I'm just saying it has to be real and healthy. Okay. And y'all know what I mean. Y'all know the levels to where y'all finally are just fully surrendered and where at least y'all have each other's peace. You know what I'm saying? It may not always be in each other's face smiling you know, giggling around, laughing, but at least y'all have peace, you know, at least y'all have peace, and I feel like not everybody can fully say that, to be honest with y'all, you know, like, where y'all are fully flown, you know, past this matrix stuff, I'm talking about where y'all know each other on a real deep level, you know, so, anyways, I don't know it all, again, I am alone, I'm just sharing what's helped me, and, like, that's what I'm saying, like, it helps us to work on ourselves, our own internal being, our own internal feeling, our own internal health, our health and well-being overall, you know, to overcome past traumas, past things that didn't work out, you know, unfortunate events, this and that. That's what I'm saying, being vegan, we're living, I'm living a karma-free life because, you know, I'm fearless and I'm coming in truth and I'm coming in transparency and honesty and that's why I'm saying, you know, I'm a God, you know what I'm saying? Like, we're all gods and goddesses. It's just like we got to reclaim our power and come out as our own, you know, vessel is what I'm saying. We have to illuminate our vessel. We have to heal our vessel to be available to share our brand, you know, ideas, vessel, message, whatever, with other people. You know, we all literally can You know, it's just, I guess, different people are here for different things and doing different stuff. You know, I'm just saying, I've realized at the end of the day, (laughs) honestly, we should always want to be with people who want the best for us and who want to enjoy life truthfully and consistently and peacefully as a loving family. You know, so that's my message. It's eternal authenticity broadcasting live.